one's out. Sorry, my dog left, but probably wouldn't have seen her anyway. But I've got a cat under my desk, and I've got a cat on a fluffy blanket over here. Look at him. Oh, he's so cuddly. Can you even see him? Did I mess it up? There he is. Anyway, you got to see Rocky. Isn't that fun? Okay. Hello, Trinidad. Hello, Kate Kemp's music and Manifahani. Manifahani. Sorry. I've only seen it in print and not heard it. Hi to James and hi to Kevin as well. Oh, here's pretty Patsy. Oh, she came up right next to me. Hi, Em. Oh, all the cat love tonight. It was just delightful. But I bet they're all going to leave me in a second. Anywho, wish I could ask. You know what? I will ask. How was everyone else's day? I'm just up in here talking about cats oh, who want to leave now. Look at this. You can see him. Good lord. Fussiest of fussers. Out they go. Hello! Robin is here. Doodly do. Time to invite you. Kemp's your cat is also watching. That is wonderful. Hello! Hey, can you hear me all right? Can you see me all right? I can. Sort of? Oh, sort of. I love your purple string lights. Thank you. No, I'm, uh, I'm testing something kind of new out here. This is like a, like a new studio setup that I've got uh, here in my house. And um, Oh, nice. I just put a bunch of lights up uh, a couple of weeks ago and I'm loving it so far. It's like perfect for, you know, like shooting Instagram videos and whatnot. It is. It's beautiful. I, Mary, it's so nice to meet you and talk to you. It's nice to meet you and talk to you too. Um, was it last week or two weeks ago? Somewhat recently, you joined one of these and you were really fun in the comments, and I was really oh, excited. Extremely it was like, fun just as a person. So it, it could. You are. Yeah. No, I totally am. No, no, <laughs> thank you. But, um, I think it was like two weeks ago. I think uh, yeah. you had Mia Burn was the guest <laughs> yeah and she did a cool yeah ex, or she did her song and you did your song and uh it was great. fantastic i think you did the um the theme song to what we do in the shadows <laughs> yeah i did <laughs> i love it yeah it i really really appreciated that oh thank you yeah that was my halloween episode so you've been an observer a few times then that's what that I means have and i've really enjoyed it i appreciate what thank you're doing you. Uh, this is really cool. Thank you. So Thank you, you look ready to go. So you want to play first? Uh, sure. Yeah, no, if you want me to go first, I will definitely go first. It's up to okay. you. Your call. I will go first. Okay. <laughs> I will go first. All right, yeah, thank you so much for having me, by the way. Um, right. My name is Robin, and this is a song called... Oh, this is a brand new song, and it's called She's Us, Jesus. And it goes something like this. He's not going back to Say they just want to get by. By the moon, I push them down on their things. Now I need someone to hear me. It's time someone to fear me. Let me in here if you could. Stand from the corner of the righteous and good. You on the other hand look like another man taking much more than he should. Jesus, Jesus, this year is my time. Jesus, Jesus, give me a platform and something to keep. 
my body, my choice, your body, my voice is a lot more convincing than what you try to hide from me. Jesus, Jesus, this here is my dying will. Jesus, Jesus, now hand me a platform and something to kill. Ooh. Good. Yeah, that's awesome. It feels so nice and light to finish <laughs> something like that. Something like that. It's um, I can relate. And, but, oh my god, Mara, and this has nothing to do with anything that just happened, but uh it has been a beautiful it has been like probably the most beautiful day of the year so far. Oh where are you? Uh where are you? I'm in San Luis Obispo. So, well, that area. Okay. Okay. So yeah. That's south. No, that's like, that's south of, where is that? Where exactly is that? <laughs> so I'm actually in an even smaller town than San Luis Obispo, but it's like in between LA and um, San Francisco. Oh, okay. So it's northern than I thought it was. Northern. Yeah. Okay. Our north of Santa Barbara? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always like, how familiar are you with California? Do you I'm know? I've, I've been to Los Angeles a couple of times. And, uh, Great, yeah. Diego. And that's about it, yeah. honestly. It's a beautiful state, and um, no, I, I just have fun here in Georgia as much as I can. Oh, nice. Oh, you're in Georgia. Yeah. I'm in Georgia. <laughs> nice. It's a nice place. No, like I said, today was the most beautiful day so far of the year, and I am Aww. super grateful for that. What does that mean for you? Does that mean warm and, like, um, sunny, or does that mean, like, fall and crisp? It means fall and crisp. It means, because uh, <laughs> like, normally in the state, it's like, when you walk outside in the summertime, at least, it's like it's like literally walking into a swimming pool. But the swimming pool is like salty with everybody's sweat and it's disgusting, yeah. right? Yeah. So like yeah. any day where the humidity is less than, I don't know, 60%, I'm not a meteorologist, so I just pulled that number out of nowhere. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, especially yeah. today. Today was wonderful. There is this, and maybe if you've seen my stories, uh, you would huh. see this big orange tree that is just, and I'm speaking to everybody, of course. Uh. Um, you would have seen this big orange tree that is right outside the window of my office. So go check it out. Right now, it's beautiful. It's there. It's shedding leaves, and it's windy and crisp and glorious. Oh, that's marvelous. Yeah, I used to live in Tennessee when I was a kid, and my um, my mom's from the East Coast, so, okay. like, New oh, England, so, so. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, without a doubt. Yep. Yeah. So I'm, I'm familiar and I miss it here, but I kind of. Yeah. But you've got so much like else going on there. Like you're in the center of the universe, it seems. <laughs> it does. It can seem that way. Um, okay. what I've, what I've sort of found is, um, as I sort of look at native plants more often, mm -hmm. I'm like kind of learning what their rhythms are seasonally. And, um, and so I'm kind of finding my own, like, foliage where oh, yeah. I can. So California buckwheat is amazing and changes all kinds of colors. So it's, like, white at, when it first blooms and then, like, pink in the spring and in the summer. And right now it's all, like, either white or turning this, like, reddish brown. 
Oh my god. So it's like a whole, like, you know, here we've got deciduous trees or whatever the kind of tree is that yeah. changes color. But there you've got like crops and flowers and like fauna yeah. and, flora and all different sorts of stuff to notice that maybe I just don't Yeah, notice. yeah. That's yeah, cool. and California buckwheat too. It's like it is a flower. It looks kind of oaty ish. Like, I don't know, just like the palette, but it mm -hmm. is like these little puffs that are like little clusters of tiny flowers. That's it's kind tough. of what it's like. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. It's a beautiful. James, that's your fave. That's my fave too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love that thing. Love that thing. No, and I also love um, Odie. You said Odie. I, uh, one of my yeah. favorite dogs is Odie. Oh, oh yes, Odie. Yes, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Well, I'm so, going to have a sip of water, and then I should probably play my song, huh? Absolutely. Tell me, tell me about your song. Now that you've interviewed me, I'll interview you about your song on your own sure. show. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even ask you about your song yet because we got on a tangent about fall, which was wonderful. <laughs> Mine is up for interpretation. It's it's the in the eye. I'm sorry, in the ear of the listener, or in the mind of the listener, in the ear of the person who listens to it. Just you know, interpret it however you need be. Is um, yeah. No, it's it's about uh, a lot of personal stuff. I'm sure. I'm sure you could figure out more. Yeah. About yeah. It. Yeah, etc. Very cool. Yeah, the song that I'm, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the song I'm going to play is the one that I wrote the day of the Bushwick Book Club Oakland event where um, we all met at the Peralta house, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um in Oakland at this beautiful park and it's like this beautiful historic house and everyone shares a song that they wrote based on the book that everyone reads and That's the book cool. was called Listen Like You Mean It by um, Himena Van Gocha, I think is okay. the name of the author Sounds but good. anyway so this is a, um, a song about trying to listen to people and also trying to Listen to uh, oneself when all <laughs> when you feel like all you do is listen to people. <laughs> okay. Welcome to my study. You clutch your things you wear in masks. I'm watching people you touch your neck. I'm mirroring Trust me I don't want to wreck any sweater Don't want to make it the worst day at your job We're together. Mind if I pull a tea drink? Don't think that I forgot about you. If I didn't check in like this now and then, I, why, oh, why, I don't know what I would do. Hey there, Spectre. You're counting cards, you're wearing masks. I'm watching feet, hands, and neck. I'm mirroring. That's me. I'm the one with all these sweaters. 
Can you feel this relation on false empathy? You cannot hurt my feelings. You exist in my Don't think that I forgot about you. If I didn't check in like this now and then, I, why, oh, why, I don't know what I would do. Hey, I need to self-regulate now. Let's all take a movement break. Hey, I need to stop regulate now. Let's all take movement break. And then in my mind, this is where everybody dances. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, that was perfect. That was exactly <laughs> what I wanted. <laughs> I'll do the lunch. Everybody just gets it and does that. <laughs> Don't think that I forgot about you. If I didn't check in like this now and then, I, why, oh, why, I don't know what I'd do. Don't think that I forgot about you. If I didn't check in like this now and then, I, why, oh, why, I don't know what I'd do. loved there was this one line you said about self-regulating and <laughs> i think that's a really, really just important thing to just stop for a second and remember self-regulate and and just check in with yourself and that's i love that yeah I love yeah that, that was that was in the book a lot and it's also in my life a lot <laughs> because um <laughs> i hear I mean, my kids are doing um, distance learning still, and so I'll hear their teacher talk about taking a movement break. Okay, yeah, I was wondering about that too. What is a movement yeah. break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'll hear like, now we're gonna take a movement break. And that's like something that I just, that I hear. And then, um, and then uh, with, and then with, what was that? Sorry. <laughs> like it makes the song even more personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with the self-regulate thing, um, I work as a an early interventionist speech therapist. And Ooh. so so we talk so much about like kids' ability to self-regulate and like parents co-regulating and all this stuff. Okay. And so it's just like a part of almost like my daily vocabulary. <laughs> and so I found it in the book and I was like, hey. Yeah. It makes the it makes the song I think like more personal to you. Like it makes you know, mm -hmm. in my mind the the kind of um verbiage that you use or or you know, it sticks out and yeah. it makes me remember <laughs> the I think that's really cool. Oh cool, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing it. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. I feel like it's you know, still a work in progress always with like kind of the newer songs until you play it on kinda of stay that way for a long time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, Trinidad Escobar says, you are both so fun. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Shucks. <laughs> You're so <fun> too. <laughs> oh, she is. Very fun. <laughs> she's, she's my bandmate. We have a song coming out next Friday? No way. Or tomorrow. Is it like folk music or like, you know, what, what we just heard? It's... Well, it's uh, it's slower than what we just heard. 
It's okay. more of a um, no movement break. You're not allowed to move at all when you listen to that song. In the middle of it. You have to try to be as still as possible you when you listen. listen. It's a listening kind of song. It's a listening mm -hmm. kind of song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's coming out this Friday, you said? It, it's coming out the 26th, so a oh. week from tomorrow. A week from Friday. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. All right, heck yeah. What is what is the name of your band? It's right there in the chat. I can't oh, actually no, see. I don't want to lose you. When Autumn Fills My Love by Blue Ghosts. Oh, oh yeah, Blue Ghosts. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I follow you guys on Instagram. <laughs> hey, there. Hear it. Yeah, yeah, that is us. And we are, um, there's actually, we're doing a pre-save now. And so if you pre-save it, then you will get a coloring page. Because who doesn't love that? What is a color, like a, like a coloring page, like a page to color? A PDF to color. Okay, yeah, no, that's actually pretty cool. I like that idea. Are you doing, um, let's see, how, how do, so I do mine with um, this service called, uh, shoot, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the, Distro the Kid? It's not Distro Kid, it's um, uh, Show.co. Ah, there you go. So, yeah, that's an, just another one that, of the same kind of things. And I love that. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. It's a really great way to get people to do that. So absolutely, I will head to uh, your, is it in your bio, I assume? It is, yes. In, right, our, in the Blue Ghosts link, or bio and then um in my link tree and also the escobar comics link tree as well perfect uh, yeah we'll over there and uh make sure to pre-save that coming out on the well oh, thank you hey what do you have to promote I got have, anything for us so on november 30th if you live in georgia actually if you live in atlanta within the city limits um which is probably like all zero of you uh, I will be playing this, um, what is it? It's a party at the polls. So I'm going to be away from a polling place, uh, playing my music, my non-person music, uh, for a couple hours while people come out and vote for the mayoral runoff here in Atlanta. We have a big old mayoral runoff coming up. And I think other oh, wow. people are being elected too, but uh, definitely the mayor. Yeah, Wow gonna maybe elect a new a new mayor it's gonna be uh, a new yeah. wow no. <laughs> <laughs> well cool that sounds like an awesome thing to do it is thank you very much i'm very excited for it it's um it's gonna be a load of fun i'm gonna hopefully meet a whole bunch of people yeah that's amazing san jose women's club says we are friends with stacy is that one of the candidates? Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, oh, without cool. a doubt, Stacy is one. In fact, Stacy is one of the uh, major, major, major candidates. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, it's um, it's going to be a. Uh, I don't think it will be. You know, I'm not going to speak more on it because um, I don't want to say anything that upsets anybody. Right, right. I'm. I honestly don't know enough about it to upset anybody willingly. Um, <laughs> But it's a thing that's coming up. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I should be more politically active than I am. I think we all should. Yeah. Well, hey, this is a good, a good thing that you're doing, I think, for, you know. It'll be fun. Exactly. You know, it'll be, uh, it'll be, it's, it's, I think in the last probably five years, Stacy, who mm -hmm. we're talking about, Stacey Abrams, has worked harder than anybody I've ever mm -hmm. seen history to encourage uh people of color and women mm -hmm. and uh latino and latina voters to come yeah. out and, and vote and it has been ridiculous in atlanta to see this shift from a red state to a blue state in the last uh yeah, last yeah. election it was uh insane to see something i never thought i would see yeah yeah san jose yeah. women's club adding she is the world stacy is intersectional She's amazing. She really is pretty cool. And it took me way longer than it should have to click that um, <laughs> that Stacey Abrams is who we were talking about as the <laughs> mayoral candidate as well as just, I thought that it was like unrelated. 
I thought it was like, <laughs> we're friends with Stacy. Oh, Stacy's one of the candidates. Oh, cool. One of the candidates is named Stacy. And then I thought that the Stacy Abrams comments were like separate. Like, yes, yeah, Stacy Abrams is, is quite cool. All I know for sure is it's going to be an historic event. And mm -hmm. I used to after the word A to signify how historic it would be. Yes, yes. She is beyond candidacy, San Jose Women's Club adds. San Jose Women's Club, what is your name? Because I keep calling you by your handle, and I know that you are a person. Heck yeah, San Jose Women's Club. <laughs> yeah. And I, I did see that you also um, requested to join the video, and I, do, I only allow my guests to join. So I apologize. <laughs> It's not this is Robin. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. Often people will do that accidentally. So, oh, Christine Craft. Christine Craft, lovely to meet you. <laughs> Yay. And we love you. Christine says, love you too. And I return that sentiment. Volunteer president of the San Jose Women's Club. Cool. Okay, okay, heck yeah, San Jose Women's Club, all the way. It's that's that's yes. my kind of club. way to go, Christine. Yes, all right, let's see. Oh, Anything oh. else you want to talk about? Do you have music on Spotify and everything? Absolutely, thank you for asking. Uh, I do have uh, two EPs out on Spotify for all of you to enjoy. My name is Robin Shakedown on Spotify, my real name is not Robin Shakedown. Um, it's a different last name, uh, but my middle name is Danger. Uh, that is a true story, and um, I guess that's my fun fact. I is on my passport literally right now. It does say Robin Danger Vincent, and that's probably ah. one of my favorite facts in life. Um, is that, that is a that great fact. When people say Danger is my middle name. I can totally just be like, heck yeah, me too. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, you oh, could God. say, but it's my real middle name. I know, no, that's, uh, how about, Mayor, what's your fun fact about yourself? We haven't heard one from you. What is mine? <laughs> Get away hmm. from that. <laughs> A fun fact. Let's see. Um, I'm just, just looking around at, um, objects in my room and in this room here, and I see that my sunglasses are here, so okay. I tell you that I have some photosensitivity. Yay, is that fun? Okay. That's pretty fun. That. Oh, cute. We could be sunglasses, guys. Yay. Oh, this. this is, this is like, this is a new segment of your show. Yeah. You prepare their sunglasses for, for the end of the show. For when it's That's time. That's right. Sunglasses at nighttime. This is really digging for content here. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm so often a sunglass guy. And to be honest, I am very comfortable with this right now. <laughs> I love that. Me too. It should be encouraged more often, I think, to just wear sunglasses everywhere. Because mm -hmm. what, what if you want to exude coolness? You know, right. But, but like, you don't have the time to interact with everybody and show them how cool you are. Well, obviously, the best way to do it is yes. to Sunglasses. Yes. You know what? I want someone to invent nighttime sunglasses that like um that almost like EQs the light that comes in where all the like traffic lights and stuff like that are made dimmer and then the darkness is made brighter. So if anyone who's tech savvy can do that, then uh that EQs it. So that it EQs coming. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell you are with audio. I love it. Um, <laughs> well, so they do make those those sunglasses that like are especially used for finding golf balls. So if you if you hit your Ooh. ball and you have no idea where it is because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know for whatever reason, you can put on these sunglasses that block out the green light coming in from the grass. So all the grass just looks dark, and the golf ball looks oh. white really contrasting against the green uh, the green grass. Get that person on the job. Man, that's not fair. You know some rich guy was just like, I want to find my golf balls <laughs> easier. Someone was like, right away. 
<laughs> problems that we could solve in the world. And it's like, find golf balls easier. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is, that's what we need to focus on is, is <laughs> the golf balls, you know, find golf balls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hunger. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, right. And, and do the golf ball thing again. And I think we're set for like the next. Right. Yeah. Maybe at some point put a person on Mars. That's right. If, maybe. If we have the budget for it. Mm -hmm. Madison Smith says, I exude coolness constantly, even without sunglasses. It is so good to see. And she does. She absolutely does. Yeah, Madison <laughs> Smith is, uh, is probably one of the only people I know who can exude that coolness without the sunglasses. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I, I can't. I need them. I do, too. Exactly. These? No, oh, I can, I can promote a store I love. These came from a Satellite of Love in San Luis Obispo. And it's, it's the quickest I've ever picked out sunglasses. Why is that? What made those ones stand out to you? I don't know. They were just magical. First of all, they're pink. I don't know if that shows. Um, but they're I can they're sort of see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. They're pink, yes. which I liked instantly. Okay. And then I okay. tried them on, and I was like, hey, these don't look horrible with my face shape. <laughs> Fine. That's honestly, like, the biggest thing in buying sunglasses is you can't <laughs> know how they're going to make you change. Yeah how yeah. everyone's perception of you is going to change until you put them on. It's like, true. It's crazy. Well, yours are, yours are working for you as well. Yeah. Yours are looking these, great. These are, uh, these are from Target. Of all things. Wonderful. My previous hair that was not working any longer was from Target too. Okay. Yeah, no, exactly. I probably know the, the rack you got it from. It was uh, the one that's, uh, you know, the, the white one that spins. That's right. That's right. That's the one. Wow. Yes. That's the one. That's the one you got to look out for, for fashion. That's, that's the good one. Oh, man. This has been so, so flippin' fun. I've <laughs> loved it. Big me. I, I really, really appreciate it. It has been an honor and a privilege to be on your show. Yeah, well, it's been an honor to have you on my show. Oh, I see A-A-G-O-C-S, A-G-O-C-S, A-G-O-C-S, zero zero one. Yeah. Says, what if we lose a golf ball on Mars? If we lose a golf ball on Mars. Now, uh, AGOCS001, this is uh, one of the more important questions of our time. Um, mm -hmm. What will happen in this case is we will take all of the money that we would have spent getting to the next one, uh, mm -hmm. Earth, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, uh, and, uh, and, and invest that in a new pair of sunglasses that filters out the red light coming in from the Martian atmosphere. Um, and hopefully, you know, you should be able to, you should be able to solve your golf ball, Mars related issues there. Um, eventually, I hope that we'll have all eight planets covered. We'll be able to develop sunglasses that right. let us find golf balls on all eight of them. That's right, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, I believe we can get there. Stacey Abrams will get us there. She'll figure out a way. Absolutely, Stacey 2032, that's the platform. <laughs> <laughs> find golf balls on all the planets mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like her brand i think it's, it's right on for her voter yeah for her demographic it'll be perfect <laughs> oh yeah thank you very much for having me i really really oh, appreciate it i don't want to take up too much of your of your waste too much of your viewers time we'll say oh now it's been <laughs> wonderful <laughs> thank you so much all right. Good night, night, everybody. Good night. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.